Hi guys, welcome back to Jeanette and Her Puzzles. Today I have another puzzle haul for you, but this time is all Ravensburger puzzles. Now this happened completely unintentionally, but when I was putting the puzzles together for this video I realised that they all have Ravensburger on the side. I didn't realise because I was exchanging, well I exchanged majority of them, and I just got them one by one and I didn't even realise that they were all from Ravensburger, which means there's going to be a lot of good puzzling for me to do. I'm gonna put all the new puzzles I got into three sections. So the one that I bought, yeah, just one. <laughs> the ones that I exchanged and the one that I got. So three sections and I'm just gonna start with the first one. So the first puzzle and only puzzle that I bought in this puzzle haul is 200 piece puzzle from Ravensburger. Oh, they're all from Ravensburger, I'm gonna stop saying that. So it's a 200 piece puzzle and the title of this one is Mixtape. I don't normally do puzzles this small but this one was just so cute and it was also 50% off so I was like, you know what, why not? So I bought it and I did it like literally five minutes later when I was waiting for food and eating at the restaurant, it was already done. So it says 40 minutes on the box and I've done it in 20 minutes, so I think that's quite cool. It's really easy to put together, obviously the quality is amazing. It was quite fun to do and the background helps as well because it's gradient, so you kind of know where the pieces go. This puzzle falls into Puzzle Moment collection, I think. I think that's a collection. They have 200 and 300 pieces in this same collection. I'm definitely gonna be doing this one over and over again because it was so much fun and it's like a really quick puzzle. Okay, moving on to the exchange sections. So I exchanged four puzzles. The first two puzzles I'm gonna show you, I exchanged with the same girl I've already exchanged quite a few puzzles with because, you know, her name has so many. <laughs> it's just every time I post in the Facebook group, she's like, okay, I'm up for, <laughs> for exchanging puzzles. So I love that girl, she, she's amazing. So I'm definitely gonna exchange more puzzles with her. But let me show you what I got this time. So the first one is 500 piece puzzle and the title is Waldorf Astoria Hotel. New York 1930. So this one I exchanged for the other 500 piece puzzle I had from Ravensburger, the An Evening in Paris, An Evening Walk in Paris, I think. <laughs> the one that my sister got me that I had to do without seeing the picture because obviously when you exchange puzzles you normally exchange the same piece number usually no one wants to go lower so 500 for 500 and this one too i also already assembled i'm not gonna say what easy to put together it was my first ever black and white puzzle but again the quality is so good so obviously that helped but i'm not gonna lie this top section when everything is in fog it was not that easy everything else was pretty much like I'm not gonna say hard, it wasn't hard, it's still just a 500 piece puzzle. If this was a thousand piece puzzle, it would be way more difficult, I think. So I'm quite glad it's a 500 piece puzzle. I wouldn't normally go for black and white one, but obviously because I had 500 piece puzzle to exchange, I didn't have that much options, and this one was the favorite one of them all. And the second puzzle I got from this girl is a thousand piece puzzle, and the title of this one is Sweet Temptation. And I think it's quite obvious why. So I haven't put this one together yet, but I really wanted to know what that gloss effect means, so obviously I opened it. <laughs> and I realized that basically the chocolates, I think all of them, I can't say for sure until I put the puzzle together, but I, I know that some of the chocolates definitely have like that shiny effect on it. So I think this one is going to be quite cool to put together because, again, there's a lot of clear lines, so I think it's going to be quite easy to do the chocolate. And obviously there's not that much background there it would get complicated. So I'm really looking forward to doing that one. That girl has another puzzle from this Gloss Effect collection, so I already told her I want that puzzle, so hopefully she's gonna save it for me. The next puzzle I'm gonna show you, I also exchanged with another girl that I've done exchanges before, so it seems like it's always the same people <laughs> that love puzzling and exchanging puzzles in Slovenia. So the story with this puzzle is that I had one 1500 piece puzzle that had 15 pieces missing on the edge, and I put it on Facebook as well and I specifically said, I also posted a full picture of the missing pieces and I said that I'm willing to exchange it for another puzzle that also has missing pieces, even if it's a smaller sized puzzle. So I said I'm okay to exchange it for 500 or 1000, like I don't like to go under 500 because it's just, 
it's too quick. <laughs> 500 is like the minimum for me to even say like I did a puzzle. So yeah, this girl messaged me and she was like, oh, I've got this puzzle that's got one piece missing. She's not sure if it's just one puzzle missing, but she was like, yeah, it's definitely got at least one piece missing. And I was like, cool, let's exchange them, you know. I'm not that bothered about the missing piece because obviously I already have the puzzle with the missing piece, the cheap one. I really like the picture and it's still joyful putting the puzzle together. And also when you know in advance that there's going to be pieces missing, it's not that annoying when you realize that you can't finish the puzzle. Let me show you the puzzle now. So it's a thousand piece puzzle or 999. No, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> it's never a thousand anyway. So it's a thousand piece puzzle and the title of this one is Woodland Day. Now, I have no idea which piece is missing. I don't know if it's the edge piece or the inside piece, but I really like it because when she sent me the picture, I was like, oh, that's a really cute puzzle. And then she told me there's one piece missing. I was like, it doesn't really matter. I still want to do it. So I was quite happy about it. But as I look at the picture, I think this bottom section is going to be quite straightforward to put together. But this top section here, I think the tree is going to be fine. It's just this cloud that might be a bit complicated. But then again, it's Ravensburger, so, you know, the quality is good enough that it shouldn't be too complicated. If anyone from Ravensburger is watching this, you know, feel free to send me some puzzles, <laughs> because I love them. <laughs> Moving on to the next puzzle, which is also the last puzzle I exchanged, and I exchanged that one for the Paris one I had from Stephen Wilkes' Day to Night collection. It's a thousand piece puzzle and the title is Ayers Rock Australia. So I absolutely love this picture. When she sent me the picture, I was like, yeah, exchanging this straight away. Because sometimes, obviously, when you exchange puzzle, I received some puzzles that I didn't really like that much. And I was just like, I'm going to save my puzzles for something else. But as soon as this picture came in, I was like, yeah, I want it. <laughs> and I want it badly. <laughs> so when she asked me to do it via post, I was like, I don't care. I'm going to pay the post. You just send me this puzzle. So here it is. And this one is a part of collections of beautiful places. And when I check the back, I honestly have to say that it's my favorite one out of the six. The only one that even comes close for me is this one. I really like it. I like the colors. I love the sunset and it's like a gradient of obviously it's got clouds in between, but I know it's going to be really joyful to put it together and I'm, I'm quite sure it's going to be done really quickly, like probably in the next two weeks. <laughs> The next puzzle I got from my friend and he bought it for us to do it together. So obviously another one that's already been done, <laughs> but let me show it to you. It's a thousand piece puzzle. The title of this one is London and it falls under the collection of beautiful skylines. This one again has six puzzles in this collection. And if I had to choose my favorite one, I would pick this one. But obviously the choices in Slovenia are so poor, like you don't even get all of the puzzles. They just normally send you the ones that they know that they're gonna sell. And London is always one of them, or Paris. The sky was funnily enough the easiest part on this puzzle because it's got a very clear gradient. So it was really easy to complete the sky. It was actually the first thing that was done. And, and then all the buildings that was a bit more complicated, still very enjoyable though. As of today, with all of the new added puzzles, I've got exactly 45 puzzles in my collection. And I'm really <laughs> trying to keep this number as low as possible. And I even sold one puzzle. So I've got this exit puzzle that I've been trying to exchange it for another exit puzzle. And I've got no one <laughs> to exchange it with. And one lady just messaged me on Facebook asking if she can buy it from me. And I was like, you know what, why not? And I'm just going to use this money to go towards the next exit puzzle to buy. <laughs> because that's what me and my sister do. We solve exit puzzles together and mystery puzzles together and murder mystery puzzles together. Because it's just, it's really fun. And we've actually just done one, the Glenmore Haunting. I put the puzzle together and then we solved the mystery together. It was actually really interesting because I've never done a puzzle like this before. And it's, it's different. It's a lot different than Ravensburger's exit puzzles. So if you want to see how we did it, just watch it here. Bye!